genuine peace. You need to ask yourself, are you really the person God wants you to be? Ask yourself, am I the person God wants me to be? That is the question we need to ask. This is what I'm going to talk about today. One can be very rich and yet not what God wants him to be. Because the reward of the person of God is the genuine peace of heart. And the legacy for generations. Legacy leads for what? Generation. Can you see the two things? Genuine what? The genuine peace of heart. And the legacy to live for generations. One can be a prophet and yet not the person God wants him to be. One can be a president of a nation yet not what God wants him to be. One can be the richest person in the world, yet not what God wants him to be. Think about it. How can somebody be the richest in the world, and yet not what God wants him to be? Because he or she lacks the genuine peace of war. And such words cannot live for generations. The same thing, you can be a prophet, you can be a bishop, and yet not what God wants you to be. Hallelujah. So the question you need to ask is, are you really the person God wants you to be? How do we know what God wants us to be? The answer has been given. The first step to know our destiny, what God wants you to be is to get to know God better. We talk about that today. To get to know who? Better. We are not talking of religious conduct and behaviors. Where we all actually coming from. Tell your neighbor, you need to know God better. You need to get to know God better. We Christians today, we claim we know God by confessing faith in the Word. By confessing faith in the Word and denying it in action. You say, I know God. God is, I'm born again. Christian, this, 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 this. We confess it in the way, but deny it in action. This is why we need to know God better to discover yourself. You are what God says you are, but you don't know. You can do what God says you can do, but you don't know. You have what God says you have, but you don't know. If you know, you have what God says you are, and you can do what God says you can do. Oh my God. Sky will be your limit. You will not compare yourself to others. You will be content. Confessing faith in the way, denying it in action. 
trying to believe, yet never acting on the word. Oh, I believe Jesus is Lord. Jesus is this, this is that. I'm just telling you your lifestyle, the kind of Christian you are. This is why I say you need to know God better. I'm just telling you. I'm just describing the kind of person you are. Trying to believe. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Yet, never attain on the words. That is the kind of Christian you are. Sense, knowledge, believers. You have to see in order to believe. No, what are you telling me? Mm, what? You must see in order to believe. You have to see in order to believe. You cannot believe beyond what your senses register. You cannot believe beyond that. Let's look at one gentleman in the Bible here. The book of John 20, verse 24. He said, Now Thomas, one of twelve disciples, was not with the disciple when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where nails were. Listen to that. And put my hand into his side, I will not believe. This is Saints Ruled Thomas. A man like us. You have to see in order to believe. We cannot believe beyond what our senses register. This is the kind of Christian we are. Our daily battle is with our senses. With our senses, we fight the people we see. And our weapon of warfare is not carnal. Our armor is divine. We fight the people we see. Somebody calls you, mm, you believe you want to fight. You fight your sister, you fight your brother, you preach against your brother, you preach against your brother. We react to the things we say. The Bible says we cannot know the things that are freely given to us of the Father until we are recreated. The book of Luke 10, verse 20. What does it say? It says, don't rejoice. Because the Spirit submits to you. Rejoice. Because your name is written in the book of life. Today we, 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 we are pastors, we are prophets, we are evangelists just because we dream and it comes to pass. We are pastors, evangelists, we are prophets just because we prophesy it comes to pass. We are evangelists, we are bishops, Happen. This 
may convict us, may speak through us, may operate in us, but he cannot make his home in us unless we are recreated. There's a lot we are, a lot of pastors, bishop, prophet everywhere, each of prophet, just dream and it comes to pass. Prophesy, it will rain tomorrow and suddenly it rain. Ah, you people will come together to build the church for him because the prophecy has come to pass. That is your assessment today. So many of us here become a Christian today because you, you speak the result come. You dream and you say your dream and it come to pass. Oh, that make you a Christian. What is the way out? That is the question for you and I. Because already you have to agree with me that you are a sense knowledge believer. Tell your neighbor, you are a sense knowledge believer. I can hear you. And to know God better is to know your what? Your calling. And is to know your spiritual gifts. What is the way out? The principal source of finding ourselves recreated is the Bible. There is no substitute for it. Tell your neighbor, this principal source of finding ourselves recreated is the Bible. There is no substitute for it. If there is no substitute for it, how do we get the Bible into our heart, the word of God? But don't forget, the Bible is given by the inspiration of God. You can read Bible hundred times, million times, as long as you hold grudges, as long as you hold unforgiveness, as long as you have all bitterness, envy, jealousy, hatred, it makes no meaning. The Bible is given by what? Inspiration of God. Only men were carried along by the Spirit. You can read the Bible hundred thousand times as long as you hold grudge, as long as you have all unforgiveness, bitterness, envy, jealousy, hatred, just name them. It makes no meaning. It is as if you are reading history. Reading history is reading about events. That is where your problem comes from. Tell your neighbor, this is where my problem comes from. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Face your neighbor, say, this is our problem. This is just, mm, this is your problem. You take Bible when you are not happy. You take Bible when you are very upset. You take Bible when you are hurt. You take Bible when you are facing challenges, situation. You are disturbed. No, you need free spirit to read Bible. Just your problem. You don't have any other problem to get the word of God. 
you cannot get it. You have plenty of Bible in your shelf, in your library, but they are not in your heart. They are here. Sense. In order to read your Bible effectively, I suggest reading the Bible aloud. A L O U D. Aloud. Particularly the New Testament. Say the scripture to yourself. Say the word to yourself. Incite your name, your own name, where the message is personal. And because I want you to be spiritual, that is, we are only made spiritual by living in the world, you, by living in the world, and by the world, living in us, that's all. So, I don't know how you work with the law, because the Bible says possessing a, 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 a spiritual gift is an important part of our working with the law, because you can't work with the law. How can you work with spirit, spirit when you are not spirit? How can you work? God is spirit, and his worshiper must worship him in spirit and truth. Look, this is the spirit. And I'm here with body. And I'm, uh, is it possible for me to work with the spirit? It's not possible. You have to be spiritual. Possessing a spiritual gift is an important part of our working with the Lord. You have to be spiritual to work with the Lord. You have to be spiritual. You can be a prophet, a pastor, a bishop, maybe, what God will do. You can be a president of a country, yet not. So, and I told you the reward of being the person of God, the reward, the genuine war, peace of heart, the legacy, to live for generations. Right now, if today is your last day on earth, what do you think can live in you for generations? What we have now is too controversy fight, disagreement. No, this one is mine. This one is mine. That is debt in the bank. We are rich, but very, I mean, we know debt so much. Everything we have enveloped by controversies. So please think about that. It's very, very important. Your calling and your spiritual gift are one. If you say, what is my calling? You are saying, what is my spiritual gift? That is what you are asking. So, hallelujah. Amen. What message are you taking home today? Am I really the person? Again? Again? It's very important to discover yourself. What I'm talking about is our destiny. If I'm not operate on my destiny, if I'm not given the spiritual gift to operate, what I've been going through in the past is enough to send me part. Look at the apostle in the Bible. I look at the trial and temptation they went through. And I now begin to compare myself to, I see that, uh, ah, history will tell us about my trial and, and, and persecution. The most persecuted pastor, not only that, there's nothing I have not gone through in this country.
So there is need for you to know your calling. If you don't know your calling and you are operating, whatever you become, it does not take these people a second to bring you down. Your calling is your gift, spiritual gift. And the beginner is not your own, but the finisher. Continue to do. Thank you, Jesus, for being great. Thank you for gathering us in a time like this. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. We bless your holy name. Precious Redeemer, we honor you for who you are. We thank you for choosing us in a time like this. We thank you for what you did yesterday. And thank you once again for what you have done and what you will continue to do. Here we are your children to bless your name, to give you praise and honor, to exalt you. For there is none like you, Jesus, you make impossible to be possible. We are grateful, O oh God, for what you are and loving us unconditionally. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you, Jesus, how lovely Father you are. We thank you. May you be exalted, Father. May you be lifted up. May you be honored now and forever. We give you praise and honor. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Welcome once again. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy young. Anyone a call singing? So blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ye swathe to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy young. Anyone a call singing? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy young. Anyone a call singing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy young. Anyone a call singing, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised to and adored. So we lift up holy young. Anyone a call singing, blessed be the name of the Lord. To day I will lift up my voice and say, All I know, Jesus, you are always there for me. Almighty God, you are my only one. No matter what we say, when success is my way, I will praise alone. You are more than worthy, Lord, to be praised and adored. You be faithful, Lord, that is why your name is forevermore. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice and say all I know. You are always there for me, Almighty God. You are my only one. No matter what we say, when success is my way, I will praise alone. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice and say, all I know, Jesus, you are always there for me. Almighty God, 
You are my only one. No matter what we say, when success I'm away, I will praise alone. You are more than worthy, Lord, to be praised and adored. You be faithful, Lord, and by your name. Is forevermore. We are grateful, oh Lord, for all you have done for us. We are grateful, oh Lord, for all you have done for us. We are grateful, oh Lord. Join me and continue to say. Thank you for showing him the grateful all I've done for you. Wake up morning is a miracle. Thank him. Once again, thank him. Begin to thank him. Thank him for your good health. Thank him for the problem that you do not have. Thank him. Thank him. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful. For all you have done in our midst, for what you are, Lord, we say thank you. Writing our names in the book of the living, we say thank you. For not punishing us, we say thank you. Thank you for the seen and unseen battle that you fight every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the problem that we do not have. Thank you for the air we breathe out. Thank you, Lord, for the free gift of life you have granted us. Thank you, Jesus, for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for what we are today. Thank you for your grace upon our lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus, how gracious and lovely you are to us. Oh, Lord, we thank you for the children you have given unto us. We thank you for partners you have given. Thank you, Jesus, for nations where we are, for the peace you have maintained. Lord, we thank you for our leaders, O oh God. Thank you for our governments, O oh God. We thank you, Jesus, for our brothers and sisters wherever they are. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Join me as we ask for his mercy and his forgiveness. For all we know that it is just by his mercy, we sons of Jacob, we are not consumed. Ask him for his mercy. Ask him for his forgiveness. None of us is righteous. Lord, prepare me to be your sanctuary. You and holy, try unto with thanksgiving, with a living sanctuary for you. Lord, prepare me to be your sanctuary. You and holy, try unto with thanksgiving, with a living sanctuary for you. Lord, prepare me to be your sanctuary. You and holy, I run true with thanksgiving, with a living sanctuary for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, prepare us as individual to be your sanctuary. With all humility, we come before you asking for mercy and forgiveness. There are sins 
to your commitment and those unknowing. We ask for your mercy and forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O oh God. We have sinned against you, only against you. As individuals, we have sinned against you. Our parents who are sinners and us, we are more. Forgive us, O oh God, the lying lips, for the lying tongue, O oh God. Righteous and malice that we keep have mercy. Sense fire, our spirit, our soul, and body with the precious blood of Jesus. May you make us worthy for your call. May this gathering be acceptable to you. Father, we call unto you in Jesus' name. Our Heavenly Father, we commit the forum before you. As it is written, when two or three gather in your name, you are in their midst. Father, we have gathered in the name of your Son, Jesus. May you take authority control. Lead us in all truth. Lord Jesus, just like during your earthly ministry, the Bible makes us to understand that all that were present, they were all healed. Give us the same grace today. During your earthly ministry, demons were cast out. Signs and wonders took place. Give us the same grace today in the name of Jesus. We surrender everything in your hands. Lead us in all truth. Any strange spirit in our midst, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. I cast you out. Live in the name of Jesus and never return. I declare the gathering open in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Wherever you find yourself, we say to you, you are welcome. It's a blessing. You are welcome once again. Good morning, good morning. It's a blessing to have you. As we always do, you feel in your heart you love to sing. Please feel free. Everyone. You want to sing, please. I see this Irene. You want to sing, please? Yes, I'm trying to look for the song. Who is I oh. Want to sing? Okay, yes. Okay. Lord, I lift your name all Okay, please. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you are in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to us. To show the way from the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name. I, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Eh baba, eh baba, 
Eba ba poke asifa, eba ba, eba ba, eba ba poke asif. Eba ba, eba ba, eba ba poke asifa. Eba ba, eba ba, eba ba poke asif. E Yesu, e Yesu, e Yesu poke asifa. E Yesu, e Yesu, e Yesu poke asif. Maulana, maulana, maulana poke asif. Maulana, maulan, maulana poke asif. E baba. E baba, e baba poke asifa. E baba, e baba, e baba poke asifa. E baba, e baba, e baba poke asifa. E baba, e baba, e baba poke asifa. E Yesu, e Yesu, e Yesu poke asifa. E Yesu, e Yesu. E Yesu poke asifa, e baba, e baba, e baba poke asifa, e baba, e baba, e baba poke asifa. Na mini andike katika kile kitabu cha uzima wa milele. Wenzangu wameokolewa na damu yake mokozi dunia itateketezwa itateketezwa na moto ewe baba ewe baba yangu Mungu wangu wa huruma ombi langu lisiki niandike nami niandike katika kile kitabu cha uzima wa milele wenza mungu ameokolewa na damu yake Mokozi dunia itateketezwa itateketezwa na moto ewe baba ewe baba yangu mungu wangu wa huruma ombi langu lisiki niandike na Dike, katika kile kitabu cha uzima wa milele ewe baba ewe baba yangu mungu wangu wa huruma ombi langu lisiki niandike nami niandike katika kile kitabu cha uzima wa milele Asante Yesu Kristo thank you Jesus love you Jesus That's all papa Amen Thank you so much May God bless you wonderful voice and song Indeed, our prayer is that he may remember us and write us in that book of life. When he remember his people, we ask, him, we ask Jesus to remember us. Thank you. We bless God for you. May God continue to use you and reveal himself mighty to you in the name of Jesus. Just like father and daughter. Praise God, you will stand before many men and women, thousands, hundreds, millions, and you sing to the glory of your life ever before. In Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> well, today I will love us to go through the book of Esther, chapter 6. 
Esther chapter 6, if we have a volunteer, as earlier on I displayed this, very interesting. I believe Sister Irene will do the reading. Praise God. Amen. Uh, do I start from one, Papa? I couldn't hear you. Okay, I'll start with one. I'll go quick. Yeah. On that night, uh, huh? 10? Continue. Six. Okay. You start from verse one, chapter six, verse one. Okay. On that night, could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of chronicles, and they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bigan, Bigadana and Teresh, two of the king's champions, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on the king Ahasuerus. And the king said, what honor and dignity hath been done to Mordecai for this. Then say the king's servant, that, mean, that means that unto him, there is nothing done for him. And the king said, who is, who is in the court? Now Haman was, was come into the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Haman standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom will to whom will the king delight to do honor more than to myself? In other words, more than himself, to him. And Haman answered the king, for the man whom the king delighted to honor, let the royal apparel be brought, which the king used to wear, and the horse that the king rode upon, and the crown royal, which is set upon the head. And let this apparel and the horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes, that they may array the man with her, whom the king delighted to honor and bring him on horseback, brought the streets of the city and proclaim before him. That shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Then the king said to Haman, make haste and take the apparel and the horse as thou hast said, and do even to Mordecai the Jew that sitteth at the king's gate. Let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken. Then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him on horseback through the street of the city and proclaimed before him, that shall it be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor. And Mordecai came again to the king's gate, but Haman hasted to his house mourning and having his head covered. And Haman told Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends, everything that had befallen him. Then said his wise men, and Zeresh his wife unto him, if Mordecai be of the seed of Jews, before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but shall surely fall before him. And while they were yet talking with him, came the king's champ champions, and lasted to bring Haman onto the banquet that Esther had prepared. That's the word of the Lord 
children of God. Amen. Wow. Amen. Very, very, very interesting. I know you have a lot to say in Esther chapter 6. We start with you, sis. And then no one else, yeah. please. You try to go through chapter 6 of Esther. Hmm. Yeah, in short, never wish, never wish bad for other people. Because God can turn things against, you know, against. See, like this guy wanted, wanted like for Mordecai to suffer. And he had like evil plans for Mordecai. But, you know, God favors favored Mordecai and when the king was asking what uh, what what should be done to any to whoever the king is happy with so he was really it was easy to say whatever he wanted you know for himself he said thinking like these things it is him the king is going to give then it turned out it turned out to be Mordecai which is very like I really like this story. This, this um, really like I really like this story. So at the end, you, you see how like he had like basically he had headache. Like he had to put his head down. He was like you know uh, disappointed because that's what that's not what he was expecting. So children of God is good to be good people. It's good to be God's children. It's good to be on the right path because God will always, always lift us up. It doesn't matter which situation. He will always step up for us. He'll be there for us. That's all I wanted to say, Papa. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much, sis. I bless you. I thank God for you. I want to believe I'm clear. Oh, this time, yeah. you're very clear. Actually, yeah, when you look at this, yeah, if you look at this, it will show you that once you trust God or you consult God for a particular matter, learn to wait and be patient. Right from the beginning, when we started Esther, you realized that when Amman plotted against Mordecai, Mordecai quickly turned his back or his face to God and to him. They put on ashes crying to God to come and intervene in their matter before even informing Esther. Then also Esther, when he heard this cry, she also turned to God to seek God first because the matter is too big for both, for all of them. They waited on God to work. By their act of humility to God, showing that they cannot do anything, only God can help them, God came in the way that even beyond their expectation. They never thought that Mordecai can be remembered. They never thought that Mordecai can be promoted. They were blessed. Esther should go and ask King to allow them to be alive, even though they to become slaves. But that is not God's way. God's plan was to promote them. We'll see what will happen as we continue. Please, as I go through and you have a question as an individual, I want you to ask a question. Then, my desire is to see yourself in a state of Mordecai. You have men and women led by demons to make your life difficult. They are plot against you. They look, see your downfall. Demons operate in men to make things difficult for you. 
just like what we have seen Naman, Aman plan against Mordecai and his people. The Bible tells us on the night the king and the commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king. And it was written and May the Lord God Almighty make that man or woman restless that is supposed to remember you. May the God that caused the book of Chronicles to be open or to be read in the eyes in the front, may he cause the same to you your think so that your matter or your case can be remembered. The Bible tells us that after the first banquet they have met with Esther, the next day, King was restless. He could not sleep. So he, he was troubled and he asked his servants to read the books of Chronicles. So they had to read the records. Then he came across a record where Mordecai played a role. And the truth is that Mordecai, when he found out that these people, someone is planning to kill the, to poison the king, he told the matter to the Esther. And Esther, she did what? She recorded, she told them to record that matter on Mordecai. So the name of Mordecai was there, but he was not rewarded. This is what I want you to see or to get. Many a times we do good deeds expecting to be recognized or to be remembered or to be rewarded. But in one way or the other, you may not be rewarded or be remembered. I want you to know as Mordecai, he, he did this by saving King's life, but no one remembered him. It's just like you. You go to church, but you go to church, things are difficult. You pray, you fast, you do all sorts of things that are fearing possible and bad. But the more you do them, you are not remembered or recognized, and they become more worse than ever before. Don't give up just as Mordecai. As we are going through this book of Esther, from this very day I say to you, as the book was Chronicles King Conf say that it should be read in front of him, you, you today you are going to be remembered in the name of Jesus. Just believe. What does that mean? There are prayers you have offered and asking God to intervene. God has seemed to be silent. That God's silence does not mean in delay. No. God may seem to be silent, but he's still working on the answer at the right way to fix it. And I believe this is the time for God. Wherever you buy, always start your name and mess the pastor. Praise God. So, as I'm speaking at the moment, God is remembering your prayer for many years. Your commitment is not in vain. Listen, the Bible says that, and the king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Madokai? For this, then said the king's servant that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court now? No, court. Now Haman was come into the court outward court to the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallon that he had prepared for him. Praise God. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Ammon standeth in the court, and the king said, Let him come in. You can see that king went further and asked, what 
was uh, what was given or oh, what honor or oh, what was Mordecai reward of what he did then it was said to him that he was not rewarded there was nothing even a thanks then king he asked who is in the court they answered that Ammon is the one there and remember Ammon he had been advised by his wife and friend that on this very day to ask king to allow him to hang Mordecai and his family, all the entire Jews. So that was his intention. Now when he heard this, came to the king expecting to be allowed now to destroy it's the same way like you are there. An enemy Satan is plotting on how to destroy you perpetually or completely. Waiting for the final step. But this is a And a summon came in and said the king unto him, what shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom will the king delight to honor more than myself? And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delighted to honor, let the royal apple be bought which the king uses to wear and the house that the king ride it upon, and the crown royal which is set on his head, and let his and apple horse, apple horse and horse delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble prince, that they may array the man with 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 the heart whom the king delighted to honor, and bring him on houseback through the street of the city and proclaim before him that shall be done to the man whom the king died to honor. Wow. When king asked Ammon, what should we do to somebody the king want to honor? In his heart, he thought no one else king may want to honor but himself. So he asked what should be done, example, to be given the how the cloth, the apple the king puts on the horse of the king someone who is prominent to go around and announce on the street he was saying that no one is one to do that is someone is planning to destroy see what happened then the king said to Ammon, the horse as do has said and do even to the Mordecai the jew that seated at the king's gate let nothing fall of all that thou has spoken. Then took Haman the apple and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him on the horseback through the street of the city and proclaimed for him, Thus shall it and the king delighted to him. And Mordecai came to the king's gate. But Haman hastened to his house mourning and having his head covered. May God do the same to your enemies. Then the king told him, he should do as he has said. So he had him happen to the Mordecai, gave him the horse to sit on, and he one now live shine. Imagine, someone who was planning to destroy is the one and after that Mordecai came back to the king's and Haman shame covered him. That is what is going to happen to every enemy of progress. Enemy that does not want to see you happy. That is their portion. They will be covered with shame. Because there is nothing in God. Our Jesus Christ will be put to shame. Praise God. This is what happened. See, beloved. 
And Haman told Azarash, his wife, and all his friends, everything that they had befallen him. Then said his wife, wise men, and Azarash, his wife, unto him, If Mordecai be of the seed of the Jews, before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but shall surely be fall before him. And while they were yet talking with him, came the king chamberlain and hastened to bring Haman unto the banquet that Esther had prepared. With his shame, he went back home and he told his wife and his wise men what happened or what had befell him. They could not believe. Then they told him, if that Mordecai be of the seed of the Jew, you have started experiencing this. You will not prevail, but you will fall. Which means, we are spiritually Jews, which means we are spiritually sons of God. Whoever fights you, they will cause you pain for a particular time. But as I speak from this very time, you will see your enemy falling if they do not surrender. The Bible tells us, as they were still explaining to him, the king had sent a chariot to come and take him to the banquet that Esther had prepared. I know you as an individual. You have prayed for many years. But the more you pray, the more things become difficult. Why? Because your enemy, the devil, have decided to plan how to eliminate you. He have been he have programmed how to wipe you and your generation, either through difficulty in marriage, either hardship. What you want is what without even knowing. You have nothing to enjoy. You live life of regrets. You can only have peace if you are in the gathering. But when you are alone by yourself, you are crying. Every day asking God, why, what, will, what did I do? What have I done? Why I have to go through this? I know you have questions. Because there is a just like a man standing on the way with his selfish interests just to make your life difficult. I'm here to announce to you in the name of Jesus as God did for Madokai, the same God will do it for you. As God remembered Mordecai, is the very God remember you this way. You will cry no more for what you don't know. You will not labor and someone else enjoy. You will not be going to church just for the sake of going. No. We don't come to church to be comforted. Or we come to experience God. I know many make fun of you. They say, where is this God? Where is our God? But this very day, they will say, indeed, she's a child of God. That very gallon that our man prepared, we'll see what will happen. And exactly that what will be done to Satan and his agents that have become an issue in your life. So don't give up. You have decided to fast for a particular reason. Even the situation has not changed. Don't stop praying and fasting. You have decided to do good works. But the more you do, the more things are difficult. Don't give up. Your good works is not in vain. You can see that Mordecai, we don't know how long it took him to be remembered. But you can imagine, despite of saving King's life, he continued staying at the gate. That is where he his work was. You know how gatekeepers are not paid at all. Very little. And when are the gatekeepers most of the time, they are just waiting for the little. Praise God. So you can imagine, we don't know how many days. But Mordecai endured that son reign 
cold of the night and God causes him to be remembered. The book of Chronicles were open and Mordecai good works or acts was remembered. And he was rewarded. You will see how God elevated Mordecai than ever before. To an extent that where a man had planned, a man had planned to destroy him, God used the same Ammon to, to the very one Mordecai. I will say to you, highly beloved, don't give up. Things are not happening the way you want. It doesn't mean you have sin. Many a times, Satan was in this. When things are not drawing the way you want, you think it's because you have sinned. No. Satan used that against every child of God. And many times when you are going, experiencing hardship, people will say ah, that your God cannot answer you. What have you done? And many times people associate you with sin. But I want to let you know you can be sick in the body, but you can be a cardinate of heaven. You can be sick in the body, yet you are a friend of God. You may be poor, but you are a citizen of heaven. But still, God. Praise God. Don't let your present situation make you, disqualify, make you disqualify yourself, saying, maybe I'm not a child of God. Maybe I'm not a Christian. No. Jesus in the world you will have many trouble. But shout because I have overcome. What are the tribulations that Jesus talked about? You may be such a prayerful woman, but the more you pray, you have no peace in your home. You have no peace. You have done nothing wrong, but still things are difficult for you. I want you to let you know, whatever you experience, does not disqualify you from being a child of God. What proves our sonship to God is when you are sick, but you still say Jesus is Lord. It's when you are poor, but you still say praise God, God is good. When you have money in the pocket or you do not have, you still say God is good. Why? As a true child of God, you know who you are. It means that you are what the word of God say you are. If you are sick, the word of God say, let the sick say I am healed. Let the poor say I am blessed. What does that mean? It means that the word of God is final in your life. Praise be to God. It does. It doesn't matter how, what people say. It doesn't matter. I want to know that. It's not about what you have done. You are a child of God. That situation, that hardship you experience is not permanent. It's temporary. See Mordecai's situation. He was in a verge of being destroyed and completely being eliminated. Amman at that time, he was like a second in command in the entire kingdom. In his movement, he was coming to ask for the final permission. I have already prepared where I will hang Amman. Okay. Praise God. So, I know you may be in such a state, you feel like giving up. Because for many years, 
nothing seems changing. Your prayers, they are not answered. Listen this. As God heard the cry of Mordecai, God have heard your cry. Praise God. It's time for you to believe again. It's time for you to trust God once again. It's time again for you to rise and shine. Praise God. The Bible have told us that the king could not sleep. He was restless. May God make whoever is supposed to be restless for you to be remembered. In Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless his word. If you have a question, here, but that is the end of Esther chapter 6. I want to believe someone is encouraged. Praise God. As he remembered Mordecai, God will remember you. Praise God. We love to hear testimony. We love to pray for someone. As we go to pray, I want you to believe. Believing is our connection. I don't need to touch you. Once you and I, we agree here and we pray. The next is testimony. Praise God. Our God is so good as he could hear the cry of Esther. I love the life of Esther. She did not think of herself that I'm a queen. No. She realized that her being a queen is nothing. She needed God to go before her. Praise God. We love to pray for someone. Or we love to hear a testimony. Yeah, we see, oh, Sister Anne, you're welcome. We cannot hear you, Sister, please. I don't know if it's my connection. We bless your name. Oh, she's having internet problem. Anyone else? Who? We bless your name. Yeah, speak, sister. I want you to put me in a frame. Okay, sister Jane. Yeah. Yeah, I want you to pray for me. It's been two nights now. I have a, a dream. My husband always comes in a dream and have him affair with me. I want you to put me in prayer, to disconnect that. Because today is a certain time that he come with a group of men. And they hold me so he can have a prayer with me. Thank you. Yeah. That is a spirit, it's not your husband. Since you have said it here openly, you have disgraced it and you will not see it again. We'll pray for you, sister. Your husband is still alive. He's not the one. He's just a spirit using his image to come so that they make you enter into things, limitation, trouble. But we put an end to that. The Bible says when to, the Bible says we should confess. And when we confess, God will forgive us and deliver us. Wherever it is, you stretch your hand. Let us stretch our hand and pray for our sister. Then you will not experience this spiritual husband. Praise God. 
he just used because you know you are not in good terms with your husband so he used his face so that you can create more hatred towards the man but it's not the one it's just a spirit a spiritual husband dam yeah, yes Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Elele to Hallelujah. Mille to same experience and I'm in a dream sleeping with you just know that it's not your man it's not your husband that is just a spiritual husband because many a times when people have an affair it is a cause limitation disappointment setback that what satan does and he love to use people maybe you are not agreeing with them so that you cre create more hatred towards those people and sometimes if you're a woman you talk to a man you find the man you're talking to he come to your dream so this when we not when you see the thing you think that is your husband no it's not the one it's a spirit evil spirit that lives inside someone and use people's faces in the name of jesus holy god 
Jesus. Do it again. Do it again. Our life. Hope I to see Jesus. Seated upon the truth. Holy Ghost. Do it again, do it again. Open our eyes to see Jesus. Sit upon the truth. What a mighty we sang, what a mighty God we sang. The heaven and earth are told, what we pondered for him, what a mighty God we sang. Hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, heaven and earth adore him, angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. And an earth and him. He sit on the mountain. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. As you heard the cry of Mordecai. You remembered him as Ammon planned to destroy him. That was the, the time you put the king restless and the books of Chronicles was read open. And he was remembered. In the name of Jesus, Father, may the grace that is in the scripture, I stand upon it. May you, O oh God, make it real in our lives this very hour. May you cause the heart of your people to be remembered. May you cause the book of Chronicles them of their good May you cause them to be May you cause them to God this day. May you remember them. May you remember them you, O oh God, let it be known today. That is what will be done to the man whom God delight to honor. Let there be, let this each one of them, let it be done unto them as to the man God delights to honor. May you honor them. May you be honored in their lives, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Stand up on us. We have come, O oh God, bringing our sister, Jen. She have had funny experience with this so-called spiritual husband, a man that has the dominion of her. The man behind every trouble is since she was a child. This is the time to announce to that wicked spirit that the end has come. 
This sister is married to Jesus. I announce divorce to every spirit. Using the image of her husband, whatever and whatever spirit they may be, I stand in the power authority of Scripture in the name of Jesus. By the power of the host, I come against you, demon. Wherever you call yourself, I don't care how long have you lived inside her. I don't care how pain you have caused. You are the cause. You are the behind of all our tears. You are the behind of all she have went through. All of you are the cause of all she has. But to the end come. I hung you in the very garden you have hung to destroy your life. Whatever and whatever attracts you to her, be broken in the name of Jesus. You familiar spirit, in a form of a lizard, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You soul spirit, claiming dominion over you, I break your dome in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have used to establish yourself in her, be broken in the name of Jesus. You and the clean spirit, in the name of Jesus, as it is written, Jesus said, go and heal the sick. I could demon that live her. Wherever you are, I command you out of our system. Out you demon. Out you the cause of pain. Out you demon. Out you demon. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out of hardship. Out with your confusion. Out to nation. Out with your trouble, out with your disease, out with your failure, out with your rejection, in the name of Jesus, wherever and whatever, I command you, out of our church, out of our home, out you demon, you spiritual husband, your time has come to an end. They are not again to come. May the Lord rebuke you out of return and go never return in a life, never return, never surface in a dream. In the name of Jesus, I declare her free. For whose son set free is free indeed. Whatever covenant you have with her, be broken now in the name of Jesus. I declare her free in the name of Jesus. You are free. Never again will you have a fair and free. You are free. I know your heart, you feel heavy. Something I've just left you. Don't. To God have received see that start counting from the praise God by the Amen. We live with you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I said, if you have a dream, don't take it for
and a dream, don't take it for granted. Satan used that Once you have an affair, if you are going to a meeting, before you know, it's a disappointment, it's failure. So don't take it for granted. Praise God. Either find someone to pray with you or take a step. Yeah, Sister Anne, please. Congratulations, Sister Jane. We can say yes, Lord. Sister Anne, if you hear me, please. Chiti wachu. Chiku guana, chiti wachu. Chiku guana. Chiti wachu. Amen, sister. Actually, your connection. I don't know if someone else is hearing her. I cannot hear her. Can you please sit down? Ah, can somebody hear me? Possible. Can you, you hear can me now? You can be waiting and you write down. I don't know what happened. Yeah, now I can hear you. What, what am I reading? Hello, can you hear me now? Try again, sister. Okay. Yes, please. Sorry, I don't know what happened. Um, I greet you all. Uh, my prayer request is uh, to pray for my kids and uh, myself and to pray for one of uh, my cousins that they lost their kids in car accident in two days ago. So to just put the family in the prayer and... Uh, for strength and uh, comfort. Uh, I know when um, three or two or three gathering together with, uh, with uh, his name. So it's more than you pray by yourself. So I'm asking you guys to pray for my family, especially for my kids and then especially for my cousins that they lost their two kids. Did you hear me, Pastor? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Yes, please. Pray. Okay. We thank our business indeed our as with those who are mourning. Most try to lose children. It's dying. You stretch your hands and come to you as an individual and your children. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for you, man. You are God by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. You are God. You are beginning to the end. There's no place for you, may. You are God yourself. You got time. 
They have failed you in any way. Knowing and knowing, have mercy in Jesus' name. Father, have mercy on her as a mother. Have mercy on us for her. Father, have mercy. You know exactly what she's asking. She may not be able to specify, but Lord, I don't need to say that of me. Bring her heart. Say, Come unto me who are heavy, Larry, and I will give you rest. Father, come. Of Jesus, helping you, God. What tells the with my whatever that calls me, me to the name of Jesus. No. That is what we talk about. We are being mourned in the name of Jesus. Whatever act you have with the hell, knowing and knowing, shall not stand. Agreement of hardship, struggle, misunderstanding, confusion shall not stand. I cancel every declaration concerning you contrary to God's will. I cancel every demonic pronouncement against you. Every curse laid upon you and your children be broken in the name of Jesus. I command every children from your son troubling your daughter Whatever it may be, you and clean spirit, your time of expired in the life of these children. Out you demon that destabilize them in their study. Out demon that cause them not to have peace. Out demon that trouble them anyway. Meditation demon. I drive it now in Jesus' name. I separate them from anything that does not bring God's glory. I commit to children speaking blessing of God. Whatever they ask, may God grant unto them. I speak finance and increase. I bless the work of your hand. That family that have lost children. The Bible says we mourn with those who are mourning. It's very difficult for us to have the work. But the God who comfort the heart, comfort. Lord, we bring this family to you. As they are crying for their loss, Father, have mercy. The word given to them. All you give them is because the peace you give, not as the world give. This have caused them, God, have mercy and comfort them. Strengthen them and protect those who are remaining. In that time, we 
We thank love you in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen. We rejoice with you, sis. It is well with your children. It is well with those who have lost the loved one. When you reach out, if you are close to them, you let them know we have prayed for them and we are God. Amen. Important. We love them. Thank you. Thank Amen. you so much. Thank you. Amen. I will love you. Amen. Congratulations for the new year. Please love for you. Father, if you have pain or you have challenge, most especially I want you to open your mouth and say, I cancel every negative spirit. Say, I cancel every negative spirit. The spirit of bad luck, I cancel. The spirit of failure, cancel them. The spirit of bad behavior, cancel them. Cancel every spirit that is not of God. Every negative spirit, every negative spirit standing against you. Cancel every negative spirit. Cancel that which causes you pain. Cancel the spirit of nightmare. Cancel them. Every spirit of bad news. Cancel them. Cancel the spirit of accident. Cancel the spirit of family sickness. Cancel the spirit of accident. Cancel the spirit of disappointment. In the name of Jesus, cancel them. Say, I cancel every negative spirit standing against me. I cancel every negative spirit standing against my marriage. I cancel every negative spirit. Cancel them. Cancel them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Open again, begin prayer. That is God of you. Christ, be in your mouth, can be your process. And any spirit of God. Any spirit of God operating in your sin, come out of Jesus. Command the great spirit wherever it's located. Inside out, command it out. Command it out, out children. Command it out, out of your workplace. Command it out, every unclean spirit. Don't keep quiet. Command it out. Command every unclean that make you to say you don't want to say. Command that spirit out in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, Behold, I give you power. The power has been given to to command demon. Demon, command demon. Say, out you demon of our feeling, out you spirit of jealousy. Out you spirit of envy, out you unclean spirit of bitterness, out you unclean spirit, the cause of doubt, out you out in the name of Jesus, out you the cause of nightmare, out you demon, out you the cause of wet dream, command clean spirit. Every ancestral spirit, break the chain. Out you ancestral spirit, family, out in the name of out 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 
and fear, command and clean spirit out. That spirit of witchcraft, see, out in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you are under witchcraft. Command the spirit of witchcraft out. Command it out. You spirit of witchcraft, out in the name of Jesus. You are clean spirit. Out you the spirit of out in the name of Jesus. Out you the cause of setback. I command you out. Out you demon. The cause of premature death. Out in the name of Jesus. The cause of masturbation. Abation. Out in the name of Jesus. of Cause of poverty. Out. Begin to pray. Command that spirit out. Out of your life. Out of your business. Out of your home. Command demon out. Command demon out. Out in the name of Jesus. I kick you demon out. Kick demon out. Kick them out. I say you demon. I kick you out. Out of my home. I kick you demon. Out in the name of Jesus. I kick you demon. Out of my business. I kick you demon. Out of my career. I kick you demon. Out of my business. I kick you demon. Out of my home. I kick you Satan. Out of my children. Kick demon out. Command demon out. They have been created to be kicked out. They have been created to be cast out. You demon, wherever you are, out in the name of Jesus. Command them out. Command them out. The cause of shortcoming. Command them out. You and Christmas, the spirit of Absalom, I kick you out. May the Lord rebuke you. Absalom, I curse you in the name of Jesus. The spirit of definition, I curse you out. You spirit of Antichrist, I curse you out. Be exposed. I break your dominion. Command demon out. Command them out. Command them out. Out, you demon. Out, you demon. You demon. There are some stubborn demons that will not let you go. Say, you stubborn demon. I command you out. Don't keep quiet. Command them out. Command that demon. Out of your tummy. Out of your system. You have pain. Command that spirit be pain. The cause of discussion. Command out. Command him out. Command out. Command out. Command them out. Out the cause of nightmare. Command them out. Out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is not of God operating inside you. Out in the name of Jesus. You unclean spirit, wherever you are, responsible for hatred and rejection. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out, you demon. 
never return in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I release you, be released. I release you out of poverty. I release you out of that hardship. I release you out of that situation. I release you out of that cage, out of that cage. Come out of that cage. Whatever cage you are into, be open in the name of Jesus. Whatever cage you are into, be open in the name of Jesus. Whatever cage you are into, be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Cage of affliction. Be open in the name of Jesus. Cage of poverty. Be open in the name of Jesus. Cage of nightmare. Be open in the name of Jesus. Whatever cage, be open in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, I give you the key that belongs to David. Whatever you open in earth will be open. I will open everything that has been closed. I open, I release you, I release you, I release you, release yourself, release yourself, release yourself, release yourself, release yourself, so shall it be. Say, I release myself, I release my family, I release my children, I release my home. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank him, thank him. It is done. Stretch your hand. We pray for our nation. Pray for the nation where you are. Pray for the nation. Pray for the, lead, for the leaders. Pray for the nation. Pray for our leaders. Pray for the leaders. Pray for the government. God intervention. Give them wisdom. Pray for the nations where you are. You are representing that nation. Pray for them. Let us pray for our viewers. We have many. Let us pray for them. Viewers all over the world. Wherever that is not of God operating in you, I command it out. Whatever Satan may have begin to connect you I disconnect you to Satan and I connect you to Jesus whatever and whatever that is not function inside you viewers begin to function in the name of Jesus whatever cage you are into I release you from that cage be released in the name of Jesus I commit all nation, God version in East, West, South, God version. I use Myama as a point of contact, praying for the leadership, praying for the wisdom. God leaders wisdom. Give them wisdom. The God wisdom. Let your peace be to protect your peace. Give them understanding from you. God, continue to provide whatever critical time. We pray for them. God wisdom, intervention, power. God intervention. Nations with trouble, we speak to every trouble. Please, in the name of Jesus. As Jesus stood in the midst of the board, I stand in the midst of the land. I command calm. Let peace in the southwest. I command peace in the entire world. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Those who are sick bed under the influence of this telecast, that is not where I belong. Rise up and walk. Be healed of the that comes be healed of Jesus. This is intervention. God intervention. God intervention. Let there be justice in the name of Jesus. God intervention. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. 
Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. We love you too. Praise God. Let us say together salvation by God willing. Tomorrow we are meeting again. Prayer come with the testimony. Bring forth of those sick. Bring prayer requests of people we pray for them. The grace and peace. Praise God. Salvation is word abiding in us and we abide in it. Remember, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come in Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all days of our lives. And we shall be in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much.